love his personal stories. You guys are going to love him so much. Please clap real loud for Bao Dong. How's everyone doing? Yeah. Monday night. We typically work from home. Why are we here? Okay. We're going to talk about Anyway, as Jesse mentioned, my name is Bao Dong. And I can, yes, address the elephant trunk in the room. My last name is Dong. <laughs> Look, I grew up with a lot of Dong jokes in my life. And it was hard at the beginning, but it's fine. It's not hard now. Y yeah, 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 we're okay. We're, we're okay, we're okay. And look, you know, I, I took it with great strength, right? Because it's been very helpful. Because now, when I have kids, I have a list of names to not use. <laughs> it's a boy, right? Harry's out. <laughs> I can't use that. So girl names are problematic too, because it's like, well, what if I want to name her Anita? <laughs> What's your name, ma'am? Anita Dom. <laughs> and I'm Vietnamese, so there's a few Vietnamese names that are probably off the table, but maybe on, depending on how feeling about the person. Um, a Vietnamese name could be Dat. So, which is fun because it's like also D, but then and you got Dat Dong. <laughs> or Dat Dong, right? Um, and then also another pop of Vietnamese name, I can't use Long. Because <laughs> it'd be a bit hard with you know my kid growing up with those expectations, right? <laughs> um, and I thought too, like, it'd be interesting because even certain last name combinations might be problematic because you know there is a common Chinese surname, Ding. <laughs> But then I thought that would be the best combo for the infinity knock-knock joke. Knock-knock. <laughs> Who's there? Ding-dong. <laughs> Who's there? Ding-dong. <laughs> it's fine. Um, but you know what would be really funny, though, is that if you've been in the Bay Area, you've probably seen these billboards, right, that have like the really funny last names or whatever for the agents and whatnot. I think I had the best one because you know mine would go something like need your house holding ha house house hunting savior bow to the dog baby. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so a bit more about me. One of my favorite hobbies is video games, and there's been a lot of video games I've played. But for better or for worse, there's been one particular game that has consumed quite a bit of my life, and I'm displeased to say that is League of Legends. Uh, for those of you that don't know, League of Legends is a highly competitive, incredibly toxic, and very addictive game. I'm talking like drugs addictive, okay? And like with most drugs, my friends got me into it. And I appreciate it because I was go expecting to go down the normal route, like, you know, weed, cocaine, and then, I don't know, LSD. My friends were like, no, 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 no. Dude, play League of Legends. <laughs> I'm like, wow, well, you know, like, with other drugs, I avoided some of them growing up, and now I'm like, yeah, why not? Um, but the thing about League of Legends, which is nice compared to other drugs, is it's much more accessible, right? Like, if you need to get to your dealer, uh, you just download the game on your computer. So it's like, great, you got it. It's free, too, which is nuts. Like, you can pay the money if you want. So like how you might, might want to pay more of your dealer if you want to, but you don't have to. And then it's also um, extremely accessible, because the thing is with these other drugs, right? Like, you, like most of the time, you got to be in person to do it. Like. Now that we're busy adults, it's terrible because it's, you can't just be like, yo, you want to do cocaine. Now it have to be like you go to a party and then it's like, hey, why don't you know. <laughs> but like with League, it's fine because you can just play at home with friends all the time. And it's only good. The thing is with League, like with these other things, I want to be a pusher, right? I'm not going to like advertise and get my friends to play League, you know. Most of the time I'm like, look, I can't in good conscience tell you to play this game. But if you do get into it. Let me know when you play. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, another hobby that I got uh, that you know I enjoyed growing up is dancing as well. I mean, I got into dancing in high school. I took jazz, the modern stuff like that. And my dance teacher was so impressed. I was like, well, you know, if you want to get really good at dancing, you got to take ballet. I'm like, okay, it's ballet. I've heard a lot about it. Thing is, if you're going to do ballet and you have to do it right, you got to wear the leotard. Think about leotards, they have a very special power that make things that you wish were smaller, bigger, 
Things that you wish were bigger, smaller. It really highlights certain things. So as you can ex expect, as a teenager, I'm like, damn, my erection is just way too big. <laughs> Everyone sees it. I wish it was smaller, you know? And in the meantime, it's like, well, you know, my dance skills aren't great, so I hope that's a bit bigger as well, right? But another thing is, too, is like a teenager, and most of the males would agree with me, it's a bit difficult to maybe control some of the bodily reactions you might have. So you can imagine sometimes class would be mostly like this, right? It's like, is, is Dong here? Uh, yeah, 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 Dong is, Dong is present. <laughs> and stretching is tough too, because like, hey, now touch your toes, like, cool. <laughs> Bow turn around, okay, great. Oh, sorry, sorry. Like that, yeah. Um, and it was, it's difficult too, because in ballet, uh, when you're doing the basics, there's several positions that you take, right? There's the first position, second position, third position. As a young teenage boy, I'm like, well, the positions I want to know more about are like missionary, <laughs> reverse cowgirl, but, but doggy, doggy, I know that one, I know that one. That's, that's a good one, yeah. I will say though, uh, it's been nice being able to learn how to dance because it actually works out pretty well in like, you know, like when you're out dancing in a club, it feels it's like pretty good. And people have just often like, you know, ask like, oh, would you learn that stuff? And I learned it in high school. The thing is though, in clubs nowadays, it's tough because like it's usually just a congregation of either it's too crowded or it's just a bunch of thirsty dudes trying to like, find girls and stuff. One of my fantasies has always been to be in a club and then just like start a dance battle. And what I mean is like you know, if you played Pokemon before, like you're walking through and then like you see a trainer make eye contact and you're like, oh, it's going down. I would love that. So it's like you know, it's imagine like just dancing normal. You know, and then you see someone, like, you know, over there, and then, like, you know, you're not quite sure what's going on, but then you, they start, like, challenging you, like, doing some of your moves. And, like, okay, well, I gotta, like, up the intensity a little bit. Yeah. So I have some, like, moves I typically do to, like, really up the level a bit. Like, the first one, you know, you have to do, like, what we call, like, the bumpy chicken, right? So you, you start doing, like, the neck thing, you get the arms, and they start challenging you, just start. <laughs> but you can't break eye contact, because if you break eye contact, you lose, so you gotta do that, right? <laughs> And then if you want to show off more mechanical things, like with neck isolation and stuff, I have this move, which I call the slow crab. It's just... <laughs> and then, like, again, you don't bring eye contact, even if you're going like this. It's like... <laughs> yeah, can't um, Yeah, and then, like, of course, like, there's, like, other moves you can do, but those are the ones that come to mind. So, <laughs> anyway, anyway, before I... Wrap up, I just want to say, like, thank you so much for your support. And I, you know, grown up most of my life trying to be a good person, right? That's the main value my parents instilled in me. So I want to leave you with a bit of advice my parents told me. Bad. Don't be a dick. <laughs> be a dom. <laughs> thank you, everyone. That's good.